Hello, this is Amanda Pratt from Imagine Life Visual Artistry. I am recording a video on how to add a stroke and a border to your images for competition. Um, I'm not an expert in it. This is my second year doing competition, um, but a friend asked me how to do this, and I know that there weren't a lot of, of resources available to me when I learned how to do it. Um, a master photographer kind of told me how to do it and I figured out part of it on my own. So this hopefully will help you and then you can change and adjust as you see fit for your images. Okay, so here we have a nice image of this beautiful young lady. That's me. Um, so if I wanted to prepare this for competition, typically you would see a stroke and then a thicker border around the image. Um, so there's a couple ways you can do this. You can add a border by going up to image canvas size and just extending the canvas. I don't really like doing that because it basically makes it all connected and then you can't really change it or play around with it. So what I like to do is I like to just create a new file. I usually do 16 by 20 horizontally and um, then I add a stroke. So that's what we're going to do for this one is 16 by 20. We're going to name it competition image. Don't mind my dog thrashing around on the floor. He's just playing around in the background. Okay, so now I have this extra file and it's just a color. So what I'm going to do is I am going to find my picture here and I'm going to pull it down. I just dragged it out and I'm going to go to the selection tool. I'm going to take this image, drag it and drop it here. Now you want to make sure when you're dragging and dropping your image that there aren't any extraneous layers in the layer panel because it'll drag whatever the top layer is. So you want to make sure it's a flattened image and then you drag the entire image over. So then we're gonna put this back up here. So now we have our image um, on our other file which now looks kind of like our border. So what we can do with this, typically what I do is I take my image and I center it and I look at it and I say, okay, um, how much of a border do I want? Well first, let's change the color. So you can use your dropper tool and pick a color from the image and then you go over here to your paint bucket tool and you paint it. So now as you can see, you can turn the top image off and move the top image around on your canvas. So we're gonna go back to the top image. I'm gonna say, okay, you know, I kind of think that I might want less of a border. So I'm gonna select it, hold down shift, drag it so it evenly expands the image and then I'm gonna go back and center it again and I'm gonna look at it. Sometimes um, I do some other creative things like I might cut out just the subject and then put it on the background and create a stroke around it in a creative way. You can add brushes underneath it sometimes as well. But just for the purpose of keeping it simple, um, we'll just stick with this as my background, okay? So I'm gonna um, say okay and apply the image. Now that I have my border, I need to add a stroke. So the stroke is the thing that I couldn't figure out, but um, a master photographer told me always to do an inside stroke, never outside. So what you do is you click on your image, you go down here to this FX panel, and you hit on stroke and here I typically leave my stroke around four that's just what I'm comfortable with you can play around with it you can try a thicker stroke you can do even thinner than four this is the part you always want this to say inside at least that's what I was told I have done it inside um, for my past year of competition images and I haven't had any negative um, comments from the judges about it so I think that it works pretty well so I'm gonna pick a color from the image I'm gonna pick more of an accent color so I could either go lighter lighter purple I could do darker and do black I think that's what I'm gonna do and then I hit OK and then you can 
what I recommend doing is zooming in so you can see your stroke um, where there's the most contrast and also where it blends in the most and I actually think that I need to lighten up the opacity so I'm gonna double click on stroke and I'm gonna lighten it you don't want it to be too overwhelming and take away from your image because if it attracts too much attention then it's not a it's not helpful so I'm gonna do like 44 I'm gonna hit OK and then I'm gonna back back up here and I think that looks pretty good so the other thing you can do with the background image separate from your actual image with the stroke is you can add brushes on your background you can add a texture you can sometimes I texturize it um, so you can do all kinds of stuff on top of your background on different layers underneath your image to add interest to your competition image and to add interest to your border and help your border um, complement your image a little more so hopefully that helps you that's the way I do it um, if you have any suggestions I'm you know open to those as well um, but hopefully this helps you with your stroke and your border all right thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel all right have a great day see you later